Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks a lot for checking today's video out. And man, I just wanna let you guys know that I really appreciate you spending some time with me every day on these videos. I know there's a ton of other YouTube channels out there. So uh, thanks for, for watching mine, much appreciated. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about three foolproof ways to catch shallow water fish all year round. Um, this is, even though this seems pretty simple as far as basic, there's some technicalities to this. And I want to go over, I'm gonna give you guys three lures. If you told me, it's like, Randy, you gotta, you gotta catch fish all year long in shallow water. I'm gonna, uh, and you know, what, or how you gonna do it and what baits you're gonna use. So I'm gonna go over the three baits I'd select and sort of explain a little bit what I would look for into those scenarios. So real quick guys, uh, we are in September now. We are getting into the full fledged fall fishing coming up right around the corner. Uh, I'd like to invite you guys to swing by and check out our fall lake map breakdowns at fishthemoment.com. Um, I'll put the link in the description, and this is a great way to learn about some excellent fall areas on your favorite lake or any lake that across the country. If, if we have a, if a lake you fish is not on our website, you can book a virtual lesson with me. We can go over it one-on-one -on -one with a Zoom call. So I'll put the link in the description of this video. I much appreciate it there. Okay guys, I've picked out three lures that are gonna work pretty much anywhere across the country uh, any time of the year based upon you know conditions that you have. Uh, every lake is different. I mean, I, it's, it's, that's one of the hardest things about doing YouTube videos on bass fishing is that no one lake is the same. I mean, there's huge differences in the lakes we fish around the country. So even if the techniques I talk about don't apply that much to you guys, you might be able to get something out of it and situationally at some point in time. But uh, we try to sort of gear these uh, videos around more of the man-made and pound-less, that type of stuff. What, what are you doing there? Um, can you charge with the remote? Huh? Can you charge with the Okay, I'll charge it. Let me finish the video, then I'll be in and charge it, okay? No, can't do it right now, but I'll be, I'll be right in there, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, I'll be, I'll be right back. I got to charge this. Sorry about that. Guys had a toy car emergency. I had to take care of there real quick. Okay. So let's get into this. We're going to talk about the three uh, primary, you know, foolproof ways to catch bass in shallow water. Number one, guys, is a jig in shallow water. Now the jig, this is, this just happens to be one of my block of old schools, black and chartreuse with the blue chunk on it. One of my favorite colors, by the way, but don't get caught, don't get caught up on the color here. The color that you're gonna select for the shallow water application that you're talking about is gonna be dependent upon your water clarity that you're fishing there. But a jig with some type of a chunk trailer in like a three eighths of an ounce is an excellent lure. It will literally catch bass every state in this country and it will catch good ones here. So if you told me, uh, you know, what is one of your top shallow water lures, top shallow water patterns, it's going to be fishing a jig in shallow water cover. Now the cover is completely dependent again on the lake that you have. If you're fishing down south, it could be flipping that jig into grass. If you're in my part of the country, it could be flipping it into flooded bushes if the water's high. It could be flipping it around docks or laydowns. Um, you know, you guys may have different type of cover, stumps, you know, rocky banks, bluffy type banks. Literally, a jig will produce in any type of structure. It doesn't matter if it's wood or rock it is an outstanding lure to catch bass in shallow water. And the thing about jig fishing, when you're talking about jigs, guys, is there's a ton of different type of jigs. You've got your pitching and flipping jigs like this, you got finesse jigs, you got football head jigs, you got some of the micro jigs, you've got casting jigs, there's just a lot of jig variables out there. So um, each lake is going to have a jig profile unique, unique to itself. Say for example, if you guys fish Lake Cumberland, for example, Lake Cumberland is gonna be really, a lot of smallmouth in Lake Cumberland, so a little finesse jig is gonna be good. Again, if you fish my part of the country, uh, not only finesse jigs work good, but other times of the year, the big jig is gonna work good. If you guys fish grass in Florida, maybe a one ounce, big giant one ounce jig is gonna be good, bombing it into the shallow grass. But a jig is a foremost shallow water lure and pattern to catch them all year round in every water temperature, it doesn't make any difference. The jig will produce in 12 months out of the year, I don't care if the water's 40 degrees or 100 degrees, it will produce. So from that standpoint, it's super versatile. Now the next lure, guys, for shallow water fishing, one of the foremost shallow water patterns is a spinnerbait fishing. 
Spinner baits have been around for a long time. I will also throw a, a chatter bait into this category, um, but for practical applications, I wanna talk about the spinner bait because it is more versatile than the chatter bait. A spinner bait is right up there with the jig and being uh, one of the top lures and the top techniques for shallow water bass fishing all year round, simply because you can do so much with it. Again, the same type of cover. It doesn't matter if it's shallow grass, if it's water willows, if it's docks, if it's rocks, if it's stumps or whatever, a spinner bait will produce fish on those type of cover. And another great thing about a spinner bait is not only will it produce fish around cover and around heavy cover and around objects, but will also produce fish on clean, shallow banks with nothing on them. If you've got, say for example, if you've got a uh, just a, a rocky bank or a gravelly bank that has no cover on it, no wood or nothing like that, and you've got clear water, say well the water visibility is three or four feet in clarity, if you get like a rainy, cloudy type day or windy day or maybe early or late in the morning, they're always going to bite a spinnerbait in shallow water. There's for, for so many years back in the 70s and 80s, guys like Jimmy Houston, they made, they made their careers by fishing nothing but a spinnerbait in shallow water. And even guys today do the same thing to a certain extent. And again, a spinnerbait will work pretty much 12 months out of the year. Not so much for shallow water on a spinnerbait in the winter time, but any time that water temperature is above like 47, 48 degrees, a spinnerbait is gonna be a prime lure for catching shallow fish. And, the same, that, the same thing with a spinnerbait applies to the jig in terms of size and profiles. This is just a standard half ounce spinnerbait here, but depending upon the water clarity and the type of cover that you're fishing, you may have to go to a bigger, smaller bait, smaller spinnerbait. That's just fishing, you know, that's you just have to figure out the size and profile that they want. But spinnerbait, outstanding for shallow water. And the final one, guys, <clears throat> is a square bill crankbait. Now the square bill crankbait has um, pretty much the same type of water temperature limitations as as a uh, spinner. I mean, the square bill crankbait has a sort of the same water limitations temperature wise as a spinner bait. It's not going to catch many fish in the middle of the winter when the water is really cold. But once again, once those water temperatures start to creep up into the upper 40s, square bill crankbait will catch fish in shallow water the rest of the time. It'll catch fish if you've got 48 degree water in February it'll catch fish all the way through to the next December until the water temperature falls below in the mid forties or something like that. But the thing about a square bill crankbait, what makes it so uh, productive and at times it will outproduce a spinnerbait is a square bill crankbait will trigger a more of a reaction strike. Now spinnerbait will trigger a reaction strike too, but you can also fish a square bill crankbait at varying speeds based upon the water temperature. So um, if you have real hot water, shallow water, you can fish it really fast. It triggers that reaction strike. And uh, it's just an outstanding lure, especially in water. It, it, ideally water temperatures 55 and up is where I really like to fish this. So anyway, guys, that's my three shallow water, the foremost shallow water patterns, foremost shallow water ways to catch bass, jig in shallow water, square bill crank bait and a spinner bait. Um, it'll work every state in the country. Uh, it's just a matter of putting them in your hand and, and throwing them, though they will bite them. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you later.